I'm delighted to say that Julie Hesenhouse joins me now. You were absolutely gripped there, as we all oh, were. I love watching myself, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like, it, it's such a great trailer, and I'm just a little bit like, oh, what am I doing in there? It's very strange. But that's the <laughs> thing, strange. it's such a big show, yeah. such a stellar cast. You yourself, I know you'll cringe, but you are one of the nation's most loved <laughs> actresses. You are. Keep, keep it coming out. Honestly, I do not feel like that at all. Every time I go to my local supermarket, somebody says to me, are you enjoying retirement? <laughs> and, uh, and, are you still doing your acting or have you, have you stopped now? And it's like, <laughs> I'm hoping this might change it. I'm hoping this is high profile enough with the people of Tesco Hattersley. But that is only because everybody knew and loved Hayley so much. But in terms yeah. of Broadchurch, the role that you have taken on is pivotal, it's gritty. I mean, how are you feeling? It starts next week. Are you nervous, excited? I am quite nervous about it. I mean, I'm quite nervous because of the subject matter. And so I'm quite nervous about the responsibility of that and that portrayal of that. And also, you know, it's just, it's the size of it. It's quite epic. And this is always a strange period because we filmed it last summer. And it's kind of like, it's done. You know, you do yeah. a lovely job. I had a caravan on beach. I like, strode <laughs> over the cliffs to unit base every morning. And then, and then it's done. And then it all comes up again. And it's this kind of strange hiatus, the calm before the storm, you know. So, so yeah, I am a little bit nervous. But... Because you are the rape victim, yeah. how important do you think it is to tell that story? Well, it's, it's interesting because there's been a lot of conversation um, in the media recently and rightly so I think about the portrayal of sexual assault and rape on telly you know and that it's uh, it's very often sexualized you know so it's very often a beautiful young woman being pursued through the woods she doesn't have any agency of her own you know and, and I think that what they wanted to do with this was be very clear that it's an act of violence and that it can happen to anybody you've done a lot of work with charities you've worked very closely with people to tell yeah. that story responsibly a lot of work in all aspects of this role in particularly your accent this is the first <laughs> First time you haven't used your normal accent, isn't it? How yeah, is yeah. Well, I've done, I've done different accents. I did, a, I did an American accent in a play at the beginning of last year, and I had a brilliant dialect coach for that, who, who really, really helped me. So when I got this, I said, right, this do, do, isn't very natural to my, <laughs> to my ear. It's quite a long way from Accrington. Um, so I asked for it. Um, I'm not going to name it in case my accent's terrible because it's not her fault. But I did. All I can say is that I worked very, very hard. And I did my very best, so please don't be harsh on me about it. But yeah, it's a it's a difficult accent to crack his door, sir. Because it's yeah. not what you think it is. You think it's proper or and it isn't. You know, it's very specific. And I guess you've got to be careful because you don't want it to sound like you're taking the mick, do you? Because people are protective and proud of their accents. Oh yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. No, no, I've, I've done my best. It's like I don't I've, let's not talk about it anymore. Let's not draw any more attention to it. <laughs> Subject matter aside, what was it like on set? Because some huge, huge names. I'm immensely proud of it and I always will be you know I mean it, the things that we did with that character and and the the strides that were made in terms of recognition for for the trans community in particular I'll, I'll always be proud of that and uh, yeah yeah it's, it was a it was a real thing and I, and I think that I left just at the right time actually do you know because I think it would be a bit strange for um, someone who isn't chance to be playing that part. And I am so happy that Haley's Red Anorak is no longer under your bed. It's in a museum for all to celebrate. It is, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, People's Julie. History Museum, you can see it. <laughs>